Welcome back. In this video, we'll be notching and installing frames 10 through 13. And without bulkheads in place, aligning to the waterline is a bit more difficult. So an important point I want to explain is as I was putting on frame number 10, it became clear that we drop these frames down and then we have to line up the water line down below. And the frame height on the inside of the transom is actually higher uh, than the stringer. And it made me realize that back here, I don't really know the angle or the height at which these the stringer should be held. So what I ended up doing was going to the 3D model and measuring the height from the inside edge, from the top and the bottom, down to the water line. On the 3D model, we can see that the distance from the water line to the top of the stringer is 42 and one half inches. And back here at the transom, what I found is from the bottom of the stringer, well, I guess be the top, but the bottom of the stringer upside down to the water line is 42 and a half inches. And from the top of my uh, strong back to the water line is three quarters of an inch. Therefore, uh, what I need to get to here is three quarters of an inch plus 42 and a half which would be 43 and a quarter inches from the bottom. And right now, I am at 42. So I'm gonna do is put my tape measure on here and just start cranking this up until I can get the height. To 43 and a quarter. I'm gonna do the same thing on, flip it over, I think that's gonna be the port side uh, stringer. I'm gonna get that one leveled up. Then I'm gonna take a level to make sure they're parallel. With the height of the stringers finally adjusted, we see that we need to drop our frame by about another half inch. I need to drop this frame down and it will solve the problem of the stringer being too high. So that's what I'll do. With frame 10 now properly aligned to the waterline, I add my half inch spacer to ensure it is centered in the strong back. A view from the top shows that the frame is aligned right to the top of each stringer. Continuing my trend of showing all the mistakes I made, here you see me measuring from the waterline to a pencil line. But if you look on the side, you'll see this is not the true water line. Got to come up two and three quarter inches. At this point, I had forgotten that I drew that pencil line to the top of the strong back before removing the frames. But when I measured and cut the notches two and three quarter inches down from the bottom of each frame, it was not deep enough. Unfortunately, I incorrectly marked and notched out the stringers through frames 11 through 13. I'll 
briefly show some of the work and then move on to the correction. As you can see, I got really fast with the saw. As I stated earlier, the notches were cut too shallow. And only now did I remember that this was not the water line. Here I want to point out the usefulness of double checking uh, your water lines. Check this out. When I look at frame 11 here, and I thought I had it aligned to the water line, the frame is still above the stringer. So what I did is I put a batten, just a board across all of them, and you see that it's clearly showing that that frame is too high. And my culprit is that I somehow put two water lines here. I put a water line on this side, but then I also have a water line over here. And as you may be able to see down in here is my screw is above where I originally had it set to the water line, it's above the strong back frame. So I just discovered a mistake I made. When I took these strong back legs off, so I took the frames off, frames 11 through 13, I drew a line right here, parallel, like right at the strong back side. And when I was putting them back on, I thought that was the water line. Turns out the water line is higher and it's on that side. So on each of these, I have put the frame not deep enough. So I gotta bring these frames down a little bit. As you can see in the bat, there's still a bit more leveling to be done. And I accomplished the leveling by lining the water line to the laser and then attaching the legs back to the original position on the strong back. At this point, I'm pretty close to the proper position for each of the frames. So I decided to dry fit the chimes just to see how the whole boat was fitting together.
with the frames installed. In the next video, I'll be working on the transom. Till then, cheers.